Welcome back to another segment of uh, Get Outside St. Tammany. My name is Will Afton. I'm the County uh, Extension Agent for the LSU Ag Center here in St. Tammany Parish. Uh, I work out of Covington, Louisiana, and uh, I handle all of St. Tammany. So I, you know, I drive over to Slidell, up to Sun, and over to Folsom, and I help uh, residents with all their gardening needs by answering questions, uh, providing uh, providing answers to just different issues around the uh, around the yard so feel free to reach out and contact me uh, today I wanted to talk about a, a very popular uh, trend in gardening and that is uh, you know container gardening with a, a emphasis on what we call mixed container gardening so uh, gives you a chance to uh, really let your creative side flow when you get to pick and choose the plants to put in your containers uh, when we talk about container gardening, basically the, uh, the most simplest idea is that all plants can be uh, placed into three distinct groups. Uh, and basically, uh, it's kind of got a nice little sound to it, but we talk about our thrillers, our fillers, and our spillers. Uh, and it's, just, it's basically about growth habit and what that plant provides to the overall mix. Uh, thriller plants are usually tall, taller, more upright plants. Uh, maybe with a big exciting bloom, uh, something that really draws attention, hence the name Thriller. Uh, I got some examples for you today. Uh, a lot of people would like to use these uh, bright colored coleus as Thriller plants. Uh, they get some height to them, uh, you know, 16, 18 inches tall. Uh, usually very bright colorful, a lot of different options out there. See what your garden center carries and uh, uh, make a selection there. Another, you know, taller growing plant that works well in containers is this butterfly weed. Uh, all of our butterfly gardeners, uh, you know, we love butterfly weed because uh, it's a host plant for the monarch butterfly. So the uh, adult monarchs lay eggs on the foliage of this plant and then those eggs hatch and they, they become caterpillars where they consume the foliage of this plant. And then once they, uh, once they make their uh, chrysalis and uh, metamorphosize, they turn into adult butterflies and then they come back and they'll visit the flowers to feed on nectar while also at the same time laying eggs again on that foliage. So it's uh, probably one of the most popular butterfly plants, but in our container garden, uh, we like the height, you know, usually three to four feet tall. Uh, and it's always in bloom throughout the summer, so we get that color to it. And, uh, you know, it, it brings those, it keeps those monarch butterflies uh, with healthy numbers. Uh, another popular, you know, thriller plant in the garden is this uh, Angelonia. Uh, Angelonia thrives during the warm season. Uh, literally lasts from April until we get a good frost. So uh, it's got longevity in the garden. Uh, another name for them, summer snapdragon. Uh, Angelonias, they, they give you that height and they give you that long flower color. This happens to be the Serena series of Angelonia, which is an LSU Ag Center super plant. So it did well in trialing throughout the state of Louisiana. Uh, it comes in whites, uh, a purple, and a pink. So you have a lot of colors to choose from let alone there are other varieties of Angeloni out on the market that are uh, almost just as good. So see what's out there and available to you. Uh, another thriller plant in the garden is this Celosia, uh, old name for Indian paintbrush plant. Uh, as you can see here, Celosia is, uh, this particular type of Celosia is a very upright appearance and uh, a very bright, uh, a lot of bright colors that uh, can really, you know, strive attention and make it a thriller plant uh, for your container garden. Uh, to jump around, we'll talk about what we call just filler plants. Now, filler plants, they don't need to be bland. They can have some excitement, too. Uh, some common filler plants for our container gardens. Uh, we really like this euphorbia plant. Uh, it has a small white flower, but uh, it kind of has a nice texture. So this kind of, it fills the, the smaller voids in the, in the pot, uh, you know, gives it some substance. Uh, another common filler plant is, is pentas. Uh, pentas have a very nice uh, quality looking leaf, so they fill those voids well, uh, but they also produce blooms, so uh, another good feature. And these blooms actually produce a lot of nectar, so uh, also makes it a good butterfly plant. So those adult butterflies can come back and feed on the nectar from your penta plants. Uh, jumping right over here to this pedestal here, another, uh, another common filler that I see in the uh, container garden are these gomphrena. I really like Gonfrena because of the different shaped flowers. They add a little contrast uh, into the plant, into the mixed uh, container planting. Uh, kind of a mounded growing habit, so it works well as a filler. Uh, and then also the old standby, just the, the common periwinkle uh, or vinca uh, is another great filler plant. Nice uh, tropical lush type foliage. 
uh, and the big old, the big flowers that provide long lasting color, uh, they really fill in the gaps. Uh, and the third type of plant that we use in our mixed container gardens is what we call the spiller plant. And uh, the example I have for you today is uh, down here in this actual uh, example that we brought for you today is uh, this is sweet potato vine. Sweet potato vine is the uh, ornamental version of the sweet potato. Uh, it's known for its colorful ornamental leaves. Uh, you can get them in different textures. Uh, there's a, a cultivar called Ace of Spades. It has a kind of a finer cut texture and a purple color. This one happens to be Marguerite sweet potato vine and it's got that chartreuse green uh, that really stands out. But the big effect from using sweet potato vines and other vining like plants is that spillover effect. Hence why we call them spiller plants in the, in the uh, mixed container garden. Uh, now that we have all these different pieces and parts that you can look through and select, uh, this kind of now you need to determine maybe what kind of container you want to use. And uh, as you can see here, we tried to bring examples of just several different things that you find at garden centers, or you know maybe you can even uh, you know reuse or recycle something around the house. Uh, one thing in common with all these different planters is you need to make sure there's drainage holes in the bottom of the pot. Uh, you know, a lot of times we might find something really fun to use as a container garden, uh, but when we forget those drainage holes, you know, uh, those plants do not do too well. And, uh, you know, I get a phone call after that. So whether you go for some uh, decorative window box type planter or this is a resin molded, uh, looks supposed to look like half of a whiskey barrel, uh, this wooden barrel here, uh, or even these handy or hanging baskets, uh, always just make sure there's draining hole, drainage holes in the bottom. If not, you can easily add those with, a, uh, with your own drill bit. Uh, for any more questions on container gardens, uh, feel free to contact the LSU Ag Center here in St. Tammany Parish. The local number is 985-875-2635. You can find a great deal of information on our website, www.lsuagcenter.com. And our local master gardener group also has a, uh, some very helpful information on their website. And that's www.stmastergardener.org. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions uh, you know, about container gardening or you know, different options, and uh, I'll gladly help you out.